Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Who's excited? Me! So am I. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, everyone. We're continuing with Turnabout Samurai today. I think we're more than Is half everything called Turnabout? Turnabout is in the title of pretty much of every, every single, single one. Case. Okay. Yes. It's like two about sisters, two about samurai, two about. Yep. Whatever. Anyhow, so last time we left <laughs> <laughs> to take Gumshoe here. We I don't think we've shown him our badge yet, have we? We yeah, have previously. Detective, see this? This is my attorney's badge. Uh huh. Don't you think it's a little sad when you have to explain what your badge means, pal? Real men show their PD badge, and that's what. I admit the design of my badge leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> Maybe it should just be a big elf, a lawyer! Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, Detective, any ideas about this? Look, I don't got time to look at every little trinket you got, okay, pal? How about the autopsy report? Nope. Alright. That's insane. Yeah, let's look around. Whoa! Um, what is up with that? The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. <laughs> but what kind of a monkey has a nose like that? It looks like a cloud. He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio One, left to Studio Two. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday, and the head broke off. Oh. I, it took the tree down with it, too. That makes more sense, because I was like, I think it looks like a cloud. I'm a little bushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal! Detective, aren't you on the case? W well yeah, but... Hey, us detectives get tired of standing around here too, pal! Uh, I, I get that. There's a big welcome sign above the path. Yeah, apparently the studio's fallen on tough times. They started letting people in on days they aren't filming. They make a bit of extra money by charging for admission. You sure know a lot about this place, Detective. You know, you could always quit being a detective and work here. Yeah, and what perfect timing, with the monkey's neck broken and all. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Just what's that supposed to mean, pal? I will admit, Maya and Mia kind of have like the same sassy look whenever they're like being sarcastic, like... A little bit. A little bit. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go and check it out, Nick! Hey, it's locked! Looks like you need a card key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. So we actually can't even go to see the murder. Well, the murder scene, anyways. Well, let's go to the camera. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera, ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. Alright. Let's go back to the main gate, I guess, because there's nothing else we can do. Nick! Look! That security lady's in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts! I guess all cops like their donuts! Wow. <laughs> yeah, and they're soft, <laughs> so she doesn't need teeth to chew them. <laughs> hey, you! Well, are you satisfied? Powers is guilty yet? Irk. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here is the gate with the, ca with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Alright, I think I'm gonna go back to the voice for the old lady. Okay, <laughs> we can right. go back and forth. <laughs> I, I, I hope the audience likes that. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1 o'clock. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one that did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> good one, Sonny. 
She thinks I was joking. <laughs> was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio! Was? Past tense? Oh, yes! He was great as the bearded samurai! That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate? It's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Aw, oh, poor guy. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. You can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? When it's then, it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time it takes a photo, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over there in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Oh, interesting. Your old bag voice sounds like Cranky Cough. Nah, Cranky Cough's more like this! <laughs> Slightly younger Cranky Cough. Hey, no touching! <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I can't really do- That's fine. <laughs> She doesn't have the quintessential old lady voice. There's no, no. way that's old bag's voice. <laughs> All right. I almost wonder if she's like Ooh. in the holes or something. Employee area. How are we able to go there? Oh, I don't know. Let's go there. October sixteenth, Global Studios employee area. Nick, this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look! There's Powers' dressing room. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around! Yep, she just wants to sightsee. It's silent. Yep. I feel weird. A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Whoa! He must really crank the AC in there! <laughs> no, or maybe they have the windows tinted so you can't see someone dressing in there? They said it was frosted. Frosted? The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick! Let's take a look inside! Maybe we can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You never know! There might be something like... The Samurai Spear! We don't need a spear! That's the murder weapon for crying out loud! <laughs> yeah, Maya, get with the program. Let's see... Cola, candy, chips, gum... Huh. It's so... normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Wait! Look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. <laughs> what flavor soda is Samurai soda? What do you think? <laughs> well, it has to pack plenty of punch. So, uh -huh. <laughs> um. But also has to have a lot of honor with it. <laughs> oh, the not cherry. <laughs> I don't know. If it's lemon soda, I will definitely give it a try. Oh, lemon soda would be really good. That also would be totally something Japanese would pick. Like lemon or like or lime melon soda. soda. Melon soda, I could see that. I could see oh, ramune. Cucumber is. soda is a fan as well. Cucumber soda, I've never heard of that. That's a Japanese fan, apparently. I want to Surpri try that. Surprised you don't. You don't even like cucumbers! <laughs> well, I don't know. Whatever. It could be cool. That must it be could the, work in a soda. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick! You know a lot about the industry! Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? Something's going to happen. There's no... Ugh, there's no music. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm, T-bone steak! That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks! What? <laughs> I would totally have a second stomach just for steak. Oh, yeah. Oh, move over. Yeah, I... Th the table cut off, which is why we couldn't actually see this stuff. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? <laughs> no, I actually totally agree with the electric assist bike. Those are really cool. If if you were using that as your primary vehicle. Like, if you were like, I want to bike to the store, and it's maybe. like 10 miles, then I would totally... It You're would help getting... if... Uh, I would use that just to get up hills, because hills are right. the worst, but... And the way how it works is you can set it to how much you want it to help you. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. I've seen, I've seen some cool videos on them. The metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fruit through there, I bet. 
Yeah! If you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate! Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right! Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid! <laughs> she is short, though, so... How short is she, I wonder? I don't think they give the exact height, but she's... she's in the dressing room! She's fairly short. I think she's supposed to be like a head and a half shorter than Phoenix. Well, Phoenix Rye could be like six feet. Yeah. Cool, October 16th, dressing room. Powers his dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap in here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Ooh! This is the wig he used in the Samurai Boogie Woogie! Nick, you have to try this on! No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kinda like samurai movies. Kinda? <laughs> There's some regular suits in he among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes! I'd say you were already wearing one myself. <laughs> hey, Nick, that's not He's very nice. He's insanely sarcastic. Hmm? This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that! Look! An employee key card. That must be Powers's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick! Borrow it. You mean borrow. <laughs> card key added to the court record. So yay, we can get to Studio One now. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Mm. Nick, I'm hungry! You just had a burger! Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? <laughs> that actually is an expression in Japanese, where it's like, I have a second stomach for des for sweets or desserts. It's really funny. <laughs> I, I, sub I actually relate with it. Maya a lot. Maya's a big eater. <laughs> so am I. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers really did take a nap here yesterday. Or maybe he just purposefully didn't make his bed just to look uh, innocent. Maybe. Alright, well we got the uh, card key, so... Do, do, do. She's like, what are you doing? Oh, that's right. We actually have to examine it again. Okay. The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick! I wonder if this key hard key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened! Alright! We're in! She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Yeah, my cut down on the chipperness a little bit. October 16th, Studio One. They even have it mapped out. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Oh, oh yes! Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick! R right sorry. This girl is out there! What? That is a massive running gag throughout the series where, like, every game has a case where there's a ladder in it. Like, someone will be oh, look, it's a ladder in Phoenix! Be Actually, that's a step ladder. They're different. <laughs> okay. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in! I've always wanted to sit in one of these! Hey, Nick, take a look at that! One of those black and white boards. They clap at the start of filming. And look! A megaphone! A real live megaphone! Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more troubled than I thought. <laughs> those wow. are really cool, though. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would at least leave a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. That's surprising. I mean, he does wear a bulky costume. Still. Wow! Look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah! So don't touch it! Whoa! It's heavier than I thought! 
This is you. Hey, you! No touching that! I don't know who this is yet. Oh! Ah, um, sorry. My partner is kind of, you know... She looks like that girl from High School Musical. What's her name? Kelsey? Or something? The, the piano playing girl. Do you remember her? Um, I did not remember her name, but I do remember her face. Okay. I watched High School Musical like once, and it was terrible. It was great. It was terrible. You no! Know? No, I don't know! Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. That is a very different voice than I thought I expected. I didn't, I didn't know. I don't know what the heck to give her. I always thought her to be like, oh, I, I'm an assistant here. Like, kind of, oh, ner kind of nerdy. nerdy girl, yeah. I can see that. I help with props and stuff. Move them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're VP or WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry! Leave it to us! Alright, this is quite possibly the most normal character in the entire series. Great! <laughs> She's the only person who could, like, actually be a real person in real life, basically. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios aren't doing so well right now. And yesterday was the only rehearsal for our action sequences. I see. Neat. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area... That's mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the employee area. That's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. <laughs> I love this photo. It's like the guys are like, oh, hey man, I'm just gonna go over there. It reminds me a little Fire Emblem, like the f photos from that. <laughs> just a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I never noticed Penny and Old Bagger in the background of that. That's actually kind of funny. That's cool. Then I saw WP go to his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Okay, okay, so here, I thought we were just about to finish of this, and I was wondering if we were going to have to go into the trial sequence for this video as well. But no, we're going to finish up, I think, just in time. Sweet. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What, what kind? No, no, I'm sure you are a fine girl. Um, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. Oh, hang on, I gotta check. Penny Nichols. Wow. 18? <laughs> Apparently 18 years old. Hey, good good for you. You got or actually never mind, she's a part-time employee. Well, it's still good on you. This looks like a good job. Sitting at Global Studios in charge of large props and set pieces. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some of her studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. R really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks! That helps us a lot! Anything helps! Let's go put that security lady on the spot! Oh yeah, sensing someone. So you sensed that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came in the studio, she must have seen them. Yeah, some some screwy going Not on in the old bag. <laughs>
<laughs> October 16th, old lady's house, main gate. <laughs> what? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Assistance claim. Oh boy. <laughs> what? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be! But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from the outside here that day! What?! Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? I mean, she could have had donuts. Ma'am? Who was it? WHO TOLD YOU THAT?! WHO DARES QUESTION ME?! <laughs> Alright, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky hair cretin! Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. HER?! She's not even a full-time employee! All you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouths like there was no tomorrow, saying this, that, and the other thing. Well, when I was young, let me tell you, we knew a thing or two about respecting your elders. Back then we did, and it's just a crying shame that you used today just say what you please about poor old lady. <laughs> <laughs> she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Oh boy, we're gonna steal the van! <laughs> 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 Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Nah, just kidding. The security guard station. That security lady must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the <laughs> desk in here. <laughs> I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Yeah, how about you actually examine the computer? The computer that runs the security uh, cameras in the studio. Nick! Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer! Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Oh, yeah. Try it. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick. Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 o'clock. That's when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Do you remember what it was? Um... I do. Oh, okay. I think it's the first one. Nope, it's actually 307. Okay, I, it was either that or the second there, one. There! Entered. <clears throat> Hey! It printed out the data for that day! Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. Almost he stole the suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 o'clock p.m., photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope. That's the only one in the computer. Hmm. Powers photo added to the court record. I don't think it's him. Hey, hey, Nick! Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right. We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said! Anyway... Let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for! Why, you could be the next evil magistrate! Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for the day? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. So now, here's the interesting part. Because we don't know who did it, or rather, you don't know who did it. Yeah. Do you have any theories about who actually killed uh, the guy? I have no idea who killed it, but, or killed him, but it, I don't think it's the dude. I think someone must have taken his, like, suit and snuck in. Um... So it I mean, could be the normal gal, but I don't know. The, the mm -hmm. main problem is that we don't really... I don't really know, at least, um, all the people involved. That's true. And you don't meet the peop all the people until, I believe, the next investigation period. Okay. So more will get introduced, but we at least have a small handful of potential yeah. suspects. Right now, the Wendy old bag seems like the most likely suspect. Because... Which probably means it won't be her. Right. Well, when, maybe when not. that kind of thing happens, maybe not. usually. Well, it's just... 
because she was the guard, it would have been really easy for her to, like, erase any camera data that she well, created. Well, sure. Well, sure. And she might have. But right. who knows? She also could have been, like, bribed, blackmailed, <laughs> given donuts so she would get <laughs> rid of it. I don't know. Like... That's true. All of those are in the realm of possibility. So we're at the 25-minute mark. Should we do a shorter-than-average video today, or should we do, like, a little bit of the trial as well? I'm good with either. We could do another video and just have the entire trial, or we could do longer... I, c I really like separating the trial from the investigation. All right, then let's separate and, it. All right. Let's do so it. that's it for today, I guess. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. And I'm Marty. Tune in next time. We're going to cross-examine Old Bag, and um, oh boy, that's going to be quite the thing. That'll be fun. All right. Have a great day, and God bless. <laughs>